Hey guys, Dave with Air School here. And the question I wish we got more is, Dave, why are your prices higher for your Air School unit than from others? And so today we're gonna be running through that. And the reason I wish we got the question asked more is because I assume some people see our unit, they see the price. Oh, it's more expensive, let me click on something else. And we don't want you to do that, hence the video here. And this will be a little show and tell. So the overarching theme of this, and this is an MS-12 unit here, the overarching theme is that we do what we call pre-install everything, okay? So you don't need to have vacuum pump, you don't need to have gauges, you don't need to try and buy them on Amazon and learn how to use them. You don't need to hire your brother-in-law or you don't need to hire someone off of Craigslist. You don't need to hire a contractor for 1500 bucks. You just need to do what we call our quick and easy system, okay? So everything is pre-installed. The vacuum pump and gauges, normally that would be for someone who's somewhat uninitiated to get those elements, to learn how to use them, to actually do the work. Maybe it's a five hour thing. Maybe if you've never done it before, it could even be more than that, plus the cost of those, unless you're borrowing them, them from someone for whom you need to owe a favor later on. Okay, so we do all that work here, and it takes us about two and a half hours probably to build one of these out to do the pre-installation. And so I'm going to run through a few things of what we do here that you won't have to do. All right, so once you get the system, the hardest thing to do is mounting this on the wall here. To mount this unit on the wall, once you get that all set up and you run the, the line set through the well, once you run the condensate hose and the communication control wires, then it's literally five minutes to connect all the electrical and all the refrigerant, okay? So let's point out a few things. So how does this work? Well, once we do the, the vacuum pump and gauges, we set it up with this twist to connect valve, okay? So these, we give you gloves. Okay, but you don't need you don't need two wrenches. You don't need two wrenches in eight places like the competition. One of which is supposed to be a torque wrench. All of this is just twist to connect by hand. Okay, that of the five minutes to do the installation, that takes probably four minutes and fifteen seconds. All right. The other thing is between this outdoor unit here and the indoor unit here is this communication wire. And so we we wire this into the indoor unit. It's not fun work. You have to thread the the wires through the back of it. You need to correctly connect them. You need to make sure that they're in the right order on the indoor unit and the outdoor unit, or it won't. <laughs> you'll have wasted some time. Bad things will happen. And so that that takes whatever it takes us a few minutes to do that part of it. And how long does it take you? What do we call that? Eight seconds? And so that, instead of taking a half an hour, probably, again, if you're not used to doing electrical work all the time, maybe an hour, right, to actually do the grounding. It's tough getting the little grounding screw to get everything packed behind the ground. It's frustrating if you don't do it all the time. We do it all the time. And we don't want you to have any frustration, hence the quick and easy system. Okay, the next thing we do is... This is a solar ready unit here. And so we provide you with these solar whips. We connect these, these are, I think they're 54 inches long. These feed into the bottom of this isolator, which we provide. So this would be like maybe, I think it's maybe a $50, $75 item just by itself. So this, these whips, you don't have to connect these MC4 connectors. You don't have to measure thing, everything out. They, these come connect to the outdoor unit and they're ready to go into the bottom of that isolator. All right. And then we provide you with 10 meters of, of solar wire. And so the, ultimately the only thing to run your unit on solar is, that you're going to need is the solar panels and the solar mounting hardware to put the panels up on your roof. All right. So a couple of subtle things important to a lot of people is this manual right here, it's native English written manual. So you can actually see in detail. You don't need to try and guess what's happening. There's a familiar face here of a of the installation process, but it's 
Uh, we provide you with everything to be successful, and it's all outlined in this manual. Subtle thing here, again, just to make sure you don't have any any challenges. And we want, we're like Lady Gaga. We do it for the applause, all right? If, if it doesn't work for you, we're not happy. We have this, we connect this uh, um, condensate hose here, and we do it such that with these very subtle, Todd, too, if you can get in here and look at these zip ties, we do it such that the wa water does not like to flow uphill. And so we do it such that the water, now this is upside down setting on this car, but normally we flipped uh, uh, yeah, 180 degrees over. And so the water will go, goes um, switch back to go down and then down one more time and flows out through your wall correctly. And you'll notice too, like, okay, again, a subtle thing, this condensate hose is put on the bottom of your, your uh, refrigerant lines here, and it um, doesn't really matter where the communication control wires is, but the <laughs> communication control wires, the, the refrigerant lines, and the condensate hose all need to go through the wall, and it's important that the condensate line be put on the bottom, or even if you have a little dip or, or a little spike, a little hill, and the condensate hose, um, the water is going to start back flowing in and flowing down the, your wall instead of out to the outside. So little things important to make sure our, our users are happy. And so a um, few other elements here we provide you with, oh, this right here compared to like a spider bit. We were first using spider bits from Lowe's and this is actually better. And those were like 25 bucks and we were wearing through these. This right here. I don't know where you'd buy it online. I'm sure you probably can buy it online. Somebody knows a source online domestically, let me know. But um, yeah, we get this from overseas, pennies on the dollar, but this would be like maybe a $50 thing if you were to source it. This will go through brick, through center block, through wood, through uh, vinyl, uh, through aluminum siding, whatever you have, and very, very efficient to uh, to have that. Okay, and then also, oh, to mount the indoor unit, you need either one of these two uh, drill bits, which we provide. Tape for wrapping and tidying everything up, and a couple other accoutrement here. And so, uh, just a little bit of comparison. So, most this is what this has what's called an inverter compressor, and I think now. <laughs> It, there's a way to still get really super cheap and get a unit that doesn't even have an inverter compressor, but these days most mini splits have inverter compressors. And that's kind of, as a background, that's why the solar hybrid units work because bef before there were inverter compressors, you would feel it, you'd hear it, the, that inrush current when, like if you have a whole house system right now, when it first comes on, oh, there's a little shaking and that's like maybe 58 milliseconds where there's that huge inrush or surge current and a non-inverter compressor can never be run solar hybrid. And so all, all solar hybrid units need to be have an inverter compressor and that avoids four to six, you'd have to have four to six times more solar panels if you didn't have an inverter compressor. But so that's sort of a me too thing these days. You can still chintz out probably and save 50 bucks. <laughs> That's about the difference now between the inverter compressor and, and the on-off compressor. But the inverter compressor, it's like a miniature variable frequency drive. So it, it allows the, the uh, main motor in here called the compressor to either speed up or slow down. And why is that handy? Well, by avoiding that inrush current and, and having a very slow ramp up, it allows this these units to be run on solar, okay? And in terms of compared to like Mr. Cool, for instance, the Mr. Cool line set, it's it's pre-charged, so it has the refrigerant in here, all right? But with that, you're going to need the uh, two wrenches, one of which I believe still needs to be a torque wrench in eight places for their type of valves. Again, these are twist by hand, and there's no pre-wiring done. Theirs doesn't come with a uh, power cord. And no, it's not solar hybrid. So <laughs> it's not, there, some people probably are looking at, oh, should I get Mr. Cool versus Air Spool? And so, yeah, if you want something that, if, 
eventually at some point if you're considering maybe attaching three panels to your unit which you can get now for five to six hundred dollars and having the thing run free all day long you leave you go to the doctor you go to the store who cares it's free to run just leave it running you'll have that option with our unit all right and then eg4 is our main competitor in this space in terms of they have a solar hybrid unit but the, the line set is pre-vacuumed and nature abhors a vacuum so it does work in terms of when you connect the indoor unit and outdoor unit uh, using that same type of uh, two wrenches and eight places the refrigerant will flow into the vacuumed out line set the challenge is if you need to extend the line set you need to add more refrigerant to the unit and that's something a little trick we have in-house here you tell us we have an option to make these come with a 10 foot line set you need it longer let us know what length you need it can be on this particular model it can be up to uh, 49 foot so we can accommodate that when we do that we add more refrigerant to the system okay and so we you know, a little bit of mass customization here for y'all in terms of whatever you need will work to accommodate in-house here since this this part of it the the um pre-building out of the unit is done in-house here we can we can accommodate your requests all right and yeah so neither of those units have any either mr cool or g4 neither of them have anything pre-wired neither comes with the power cores so you get the unit like okay let's plug in and give this thing a shot even not on solar well go to go to lowe's or home depot and go get yourself the the power cord because uh, they don't come with a power cord as of now all right and so the bottom line is because of all this, and this probably should have been the lead up, this is probably the headline of the whole story. So what does this afford us the opportunity to provide you? It provides us with the opportunity to afford you a five year full guarantee, meaning that we're not just gonna throw a compressor your way if, the, if your compressor goes out or throw some parts after for the first three years or whatever. It, we're gonna guarantee this thing is going to work for you for the next five years and it's e it's relatively easy for us to make that guarantee the oldest units now of these have been running for five years so we're comfortable with that guarantee all right and um if it fails we have the ability because it's two modules in effect to unscrew oh it looks like the compressor's bad we probably are just going to send you the outdoor unit and and this by the way the other advantage of this system it's fully movable so if you ever want to move the system you can do that and if if part of it ever goes bad we can send you out the bad part we'll send you out the good part to replace the the bad part and send back the other part and so yeah with that if maybe a board goes bad if we we have in-house expertise here we've been doing i've been doing this a few years i'm not the expert but we do have todd here who has been doing this for 30 some years and uh, other folks too that can handle your support questions so by having in-house staff here english native english speaking in-house staff we think that we're a good option to assess what potentially is wrong with it 90 percent of the time it's not um you know no no fault of yours but 90 percent of the time probably it's it it'll be something that you haven't uh, haven't been trained on or whatever so maybe it's something that doesn't even need us to send any new part out it's something we can just tell you oh the setting for this adjust this and you'll be fine and that's of course a good fix because that gets you up and running perfectly in a hurry the other thing which helps us assess things is we have an app here appropriately enough called the air spool app and so this is this one's running next door here and so you can see we have it uh, attached to the orange is off of grid power the green is solar power and we'll be able to see what's going on remotely if you share your app with us and you can see this one right now it's it's quarter to six so uh, this is about it gonna be for the sun here given that it's getting to be uh we're in october here but um unique thing to be able to look at this and see um you know see your usage here uh, you can control 
what your mode is. Like we've had people, hey, my unit's not working. Oh, well, I, we can see immediately that it was set. And this is one that even I can answer, but we'll see, oh, you know why it wasn't working? You had it set in heating. And I see the orange ring on there instead of the the blue ring for for cooling, right? And um, But yeah, you'll see your overall savings from solar, which is wonderful to know what your savings is. And we also on our, if you go to airspool.com, bottom left, there's a green link there. You can do the cost justification and you can see any of these attributes in terms of allocating uh, uh, how much that is worth to you and do the math. And then it, a lot of it, if you just want, if you have a mini split that you're going to be running for a few hours every summer, this pro this probably isn't for you, okay? But if you have if you live in a sunnier area, and even like areas like okay, I'm from Upper Midwest. Upper Midwest in the summer it's sunny and it's hot, and so this can in some areas like Michigan where I'm from now, twenty cents plus a kilowatt hour. East Coast sunny hot in the summer, thirty cents ish. Connecticut, uh, uh, New Jersey, New York. Uh, Quickly, you can, this type of unit will pay for itself, all right? And so, yeah, that's that's the scoop. The big thing, five-year guarantee, it's going to continue continue running for you. So what's that worth to you? What's it worth to you to have a unit to be able to run for free all day long when you leave? Uh, you're going out of town for a week. Who cares? Leave it. Set, set it with the app to run from 8 to 5 when it's sunny, and it's going to run on solar only, and it will uh, run for you, keep your plants happy, et cetera. So that's different attributes. Hopefully it's going to be worth it to you. And uh, any other uh, questions, challenges, put those in the comment section. And we have a YouTube channel, which you're viewing one of the videos on right now, appropriately enough called Air Spool. So subscribe to that and appreciate your time and, and thank you.